Hello, I'm Danny Sapko here at Gear for Music, and today we're going to set up your Gear for Music violin so you can get playing in no time. The main components of the violin are the pegs, the peg box, the strings, the F holes, the fine tuners, and the bridge, which comes disassembled for transit. The bridge is held in place by the strings, which arrive tightened under the fingerboard. You can loosen the strings using the tuning pegs. Step one, the bridge. The bridge is the fitted piece of wood that holds the strings in place at the correct height over the fingerboard. You will find the bridge clearly marked and wrapped in protective paper. Once you've unwrapped the bridge, the next step is positioning. You'll find that the bridge has a high and low side. The high side of the bridge should be on the same side as the chin rest matched up with the thickest string. The bridge should then be placed in the middle of the two F-holes on the violin body, perpendicular to the edge of the fingerboard, and the loose string should then be placed over the bridge, corresponding with the relevant grooves. Look for the two notches in the F-holes. This is your marker for bridge placement. The bridge should rest on the body by the tension of the strings. There's no need to use glue or tape to hold it in place. Step two, the tuning pegs. The tuning pegs are already in position with the strings attached, but they require tightening. As the tuning pegs are tapered, the further in you push them, the tighter they will become. The easiest way to tune the strings is to turn the peg to the point where the string is close to the optimum string pitch and then push it in so it is tight. When first tuning the instrument and putting the bridge up, tune the two outer strings first, followed by the two inner strings. This ensures that the bridge stays upright. The bridge won't stay in place as you start to tune. This is normal. As you start to tighten the strings, the top of the bridge will naturally fall towards the fingerboard. You can make small adjustments. Tighten the string, reposition the bridge, and repeat. It may take a little time for both the strings and the tuning pegs to bed in. So if the instrument is not holding tune, try pushing the tuning pegs in further. You can also try using peg paste and applying it to the parts of the peg that sit in the peg box, if you find that they are slipping. There's a link to that in the description of this video. With time, this should become easier, and the pegs should hold their tune better. From there, small adjustments to tuning can be made using the four small fine tuners on the tailpiece of the violin, which will tune to around half a semitone above or below. Step three, the bow. <laughs> All Gear for Music violins are provided with a bow, which has been loosened for transit to protect it from damage. They also come with some rosin, which we'll explain later. At one end of the bow, you'll find a hexagonal metal nut. Turning the nut tightens or loosens the bow hairs. The first step is to tighten the bow. To do this, you'll need to turn the nut clockwise. You'll notice that the loose bow has a large curve to the wood. You want to tighten the nut until the wood is close to being straight, but still with a gentle curve. The bow should be loosened whenever stored or out of use. To do this, turn the nut anti-clockwise. Be careful not to over-tighten. A good trick is to tighten it slightly and test the tension of the bow by bouncing it off the palm of your hand. As soon as you can bounce it, it's tight enough. It's normal for a couple of single hairs on the bow to come loose. This doesn't mean there's a fault with the bow. This will happen as you play, so don't worry about it. Now, if you try to play, you may notice that there's no sound. To make the bow sound correctly, rosin needs to be applied. Rosin allows the bow to grip the strings and make the instrument resonate clearly. Firstly, Scrape the rosin with a knife to create a fine white powder. To apply the rosin, rub the bow backwards and forwards on the rosin surface. This will create a sticky residue on the bow. It may take several applications of rosin to make a new bow perform correctly. If you have any problems, hit the link in the description for a detailed step-by-step -step document on violin setup. Thanks for watching.